Hey, it's Chase Ralston with Rubline Marketing, and I am back with another deer story on a deer that we have uh, photographed quite a bit for full range hanging systems. So this is a deer we call 529 Buck. 529 Buck uh, got his name because we had seen a lot of pictures of him for years, and then on May 29th, he just disappeared. I never really named the deer, and um, so about that summer, we started talking about it, you know, that deer that um, we just hadn't got any pictures of since May 29th. Um, well, I was lucky enough to then all of a sudden start seeing him quite often um, as the youth season started. My son had uh, actually drew back on him when he was probably only about 12 years old. Um, my wife had him within early muzzleloader range, um, but we lost light. And then I was the lucky guy to harvest the 529 buck um, about the middle of October during bow season. Now, interestingly enough, um, this is probably the last time you're going to see him on the single system. Um, the single system that I installed here, I had done really early in the full range days before they had come out with a corner system. Well, now I actually want to move him into a corner system, but it has worked so well. This is one of those deer that I really regretted the, the form that I put him on um, when I had him at the taxidermist. It made it so difficult to actually show the deer off when he was flat against the wall, and there were very few places I could actually hang this deer. So the system actually changed that for me, the single system. And it allowed me to kind of get him off the wall, move him to a position I really wanted him. And I think he's gonna work even better on a corner system as I put him in this corner. Um, so that's the 529 buck, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in.